now we have advanced voice rolling out to the plus and team users from OpenAI, ChatGPT. We are able to fine tune 4O and 4O mini models for free. We can use O1 mini and O1 preview models in our API and also in the platform of ChatGPT. James Cameron joins Stability AI. Google announcing two models, Gemini 1.5 Pro version 2 and Gemini 1.5 Flash version 2, which are much better than the previous version. We have multiple AI agents for different tasks released by Google and many more to cover. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Now we have OpenAI advanced voice in rolling out for all the Plus and Team users. This also includes custom instructions, memory, five new voices and improved accents. This you can try in 50 different languages. So here is a demo. Hey ChatGPT, I want to apologize to my grandma for being really late. Oh, that's sweet of you to think about apologizing. How about something like, Grandma, I'm really sorry for being so late. I didn't mean to keep you waiting. Can oh, I make it um, up to you? Oh, she only speaks Mandarin. Got it. You could say, 奶奶,对不起,我迟到了。我不是故意让您等这么久的。我可以怎么补偿您呢? This shows your apology and willingness to make it up to her. Great, thank you. You're welcome. I hope it goes well with your grandma. You are able to fine tune for free the 4O model and 4O mini model. And it's free until October 35th. Now we have O1 preview and O1 mini in your API if you are tier 4. So you need to be under tier 4. Implementation is simple. Same as importing OpenAI SDK. Just calling this function and asking your question here. I can even ask, give me a daily meal plan for me and finally printing the rest here i'm using o1 preview model after the just python update point and then click enter for more advanced tutorial i've already created a video before which i will link that in the description below and here is the answer the daily meal plan and you can parse this data and integrate this in your own application and the reasoning tokens 960 now we have james cameron academy award winning filmmaker joins stability ai as board of directors this is super cool seeing filmmakers supporting AI. There are two new Gemini models got released. These are the upgraded version for 1.5 Pro. So that's version number two for both 1.5 Pro and 1.5 Flash. You can freely access it on Google AI Studio and Gemini API. Reduced 1.5 Pro pricing, increased rate limits, and more for developers. Here you can see the details. So I can clearly see that Gemini 1.5 Flash, the updated version is better than the previous version. Similarly, 1.5 Pro is better than the previous released version. Here's the pricing, effective October 1st, 2024. 1.5 Pro cost is comparatively low than before. Even the output speed over time is higher and the latency is getting lower, which is really good. Which means the performance in an application is going to be quicker. Same like AI into all the Microsoft products, we have Gemini in all Google's products. That is Google Workspace. Here you can see Gemini as customer agents, which means for customer application, you can add agents. Within a company, you have employee agents, which means this agent will have all relevant documents internal to the company. Then you have code agents to generate code. We have data agents. This is mostly for the RAG process and also creating structured data from unstructured data, such as from an audio, video, image, and much more. Then you have security agents to detect fraudulent activity. And finally, creative agents to create creative elements and media item. Next, we have a new device called Iris. Captures life as you see it. So this is like a wearable. You can wear like this, and it captures every moment happens before you. Then you'll be able to view all those happenings, same like you do it on Google Photos or Apple Photos, and it records all the conversation. And if you forget anything, you are able to ask this and it's able to remind us what happened on the particular day. Also, there's a focus mode, which means if you plan to work and you got distracted, this can tell you to focus on your main work. So like notifications like this. Next, we have Hugging Chat as a native Mac OS application, which means we are able to ask questions directly from our Mac and we can use any of these models such as Llama 3.1, Quen, Mistral, Command R, and much more. So you can just download it from the repo and just type Command Shift and Enter. Then you are able to ask questions like this directly from your Mac. 
completely for free. So whatever your questions you have, just type come on, shift and enter and then ask those questions. That's all for now. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.